love a sibling duo around here, which is why we're so excited that our funny friend Seth Myers brought his brother Josh with him this morning. I mean, don't you love that it's bring your family to work? work. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the pair okay, of know a it's podcast. weird that we what? don't look like brothers or sound like brothers. <laughs> Y'all are identical it's twins. really yeah. weird. Okay, the pair has a podcast. You should listen to it. It's called Family Trips with the Myers Brothers, where they interview their famous friends about their most memorable family vacations. Whose idea was it to start the podcast? We wanted to do something together. And yeah. He had had the idea, and then I feel like the strike sort of hit, and he was like, well, this is as good a time as any to start it. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, we got right. How cracking. do they know who's speaking on the podcast? Nobody you knows. all sound exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, we do. Uh, it's a very bad idea to do a podcast <laughs> with someone who sounds identical to you, but we're making it work. Did yeah. you have I, to say, hi, this is Seth? No? I, I think eventually people will learn that our... Hate sort it. of, yeah, or just our attitudes are, are different about certain things. Like um, Josh is mean. <laughs> is so if someone says a mean thing, it's Josh. <laughs> Josh said that. Yeah. If someone wants to talk more about family trips, it's me. And if someone yeah. wants to talk about an old SNL story, <laughs> yeah. that's one of the giveaways. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, we know you as Josh and Seth, but you mm -hmm. actually have different names that you use at with mm -hmm. each other? Yeah, I'm Sufi. And I'm Poshy. Yeah. Poshy. Sufi and Poshy? Yeah, how that's did... how we know. It's like a code to know if uh, you're family. <laughs> how okay. did those names yeah. originate? How did they come to be? Uh, Posh is very easy. Poshy was sort of Joshy Poshy, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. which is very, just comes naturally. And yeah, and then as you, as you become an adult, you drop the Joshy. <laughs> And you're just, just, just poshy, and, and that's a helpful way to be an adult you? in the world. Sufi is a lot of different things happened, but the short answer is my mom has terrible penmanship, and she sent a postcard to me at college, and when they were reading out the mail, uh, someone said, who's Sufi? And I was like, oh, that's just bad. My mom's bad handwriting. And they were like, whatever, Sufi, and it stuck. And that was it? Yeah, it, it is forever. beautiful handwriting, I should say, but it is very... Oh. It is. Oh, is he the favorite child? Is he the favorite so child? Today, today you're gonna do me like this yeah. on the Today <laughs> Show. Yeah, really oh, know I meant it. to say it's great. It's just <laughs> the only problem is you don't know what the letters are. <laughs> well, no. you can be forgiven if a fraternity brother couldn't read. Who's maybe the fraternity exactly. brother. Yeah, maybe it's problem. his problem. Who's older of you two? Uh, He's older, and I'm taller. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like the evolution of him. <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's a lose lose for me. <laughs> so yeah. who's the favorite? Uh, Josh is the favorite. Yeah. yeah. My Josh. mom tried to give him a hug backstage, but he said that he had already been put into wardrobe. I, <laughs> yeah. I promptly gave my mother a nice big hug. Yeah, well, I was, look, I have wardrobe people I answer to. Donna. That's my family. We Donna. actually know, you Donna. know Donna. Donna. We know Donna. Way, would you would... rather have Donna mad at you or no, your own mother? I'm definitely Donna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. All right, so let's talk about some of these family trips. Yeah. So where do you guys, where'd you guys go for your family vacation? I think one of the, we, are the whole premise of this is the family trips that go wrong are the ones you talk about mm -hmm. totally. your whole life after and they're the ones that sort of grow and bring your family closer so for us the most traumatic one was we were at bush gardens and basically a tornado <laughs> slash thunderstorm slash hurricane, slash hurricane hit <laughs> and we all sort of ran to the trams that bring you back to the parking lot right. and we all loaded on and then after the tram left only after did we realize that josh was still standing at the gates Wait, of Bush Gardens. i realized it how the whole old time. were you josh? <laughs> um, josh how old were you i want to say it was like Eight. Oh, you were, I, he was eight, eight, and then no, you were eight, and then you were nine by the time we found. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, teeming rain, and then they just like sort of so wait, they what drive. Was, off. What were you thinking during that time? That's I don't horrible. know. I mean. I'll tell I, you I this. hadn't seen <laughs> Sophie's Choice, but I think yeah. I was thinking about yeah. Sophie's Choice. I will tell you this. That is, I would rather have been standing in the teeming rain alone than being with my mother and father as they turned on each other about whose fault it was that Josh and their And yeah. this is when you step in and talk about how great your parents are. Yeah, they really, they came back for me. Yeah. They found me. Yeah. They wrapped me in a blanket. Uh, I remember my mom wrote a letter uh, about, like, help us find our son, but nobody could read it. <laughs> Beautiful, though. Wait, or like a painting. Um, there seems to be a theme, because we heard there was another story about you leaving school. Oh, Josh When he is so wouldn't stubborn. give you what, lunch, yeah, when he you, refused to give you a yeah, dollar. Yeah, tell your cents. side of the story. Okay. Well, I was in first grade, Whoa, I want to say. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Kindergarten or first grade. Mm -hmm. So, third grade. <laughs> And I asked Seth for lunch money, mm -hmm. um, but he was in the middle of a conversation. Oh, I was in the middle of a story. He was in the middle of a story. So, and he was in third grade, so yeah. it, I'm sure it was a banger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've had a gift. Yeah. And so he didn't he didn't give me the time of day, so I walked home. Excuse me, I, did, I said, give me a second. That was the time I asked for. A second. A second. Okay, go on. I, you know how first graders are. When they get hungry, they get hungry. Yeah, yeah. So, you, um, you do? so I was cranky because I was hungry mm -hmm. and I was that young. And then I, I walked home, which we used to walk to and from school. I walked home. Uh, 
made myself uh, a sandwich, <laughs> turned on the TV. Um, oh, what was on? It was that... Uh, was it a Flash Gordon? Flash Gordon yeah. was on. Oh, wow. And yeah. so when it came time to go back to school, I was into Flash Gordon, and that seemed more important for my education <laughs> in that moment. Now, I'll tell you what's happening at school right now. Oh. The child's gone missing. <laughs> A child's gone missing, and they're asking me when's the last I saw him, and I'm in an unenviable position being like, well, I told him to wait a second before I gave him money for food. Were you feeling like yeah. you, you really let your brother down yeah. in that moment? No, I felt, I really, and I actually stood up, my, when my dad got mad at me, I stood up and I said, I feel as though some blame should be placed on Josh. <laughs> The one who, the one who you know, broke um, every rule in the book. Okay, you guys uh, have a great Thanksgiving tradition, which is you invite your entire family yes. on your show. Yes. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow night's show, the guests will be uh, my brother and my parents. And, uh, yep, there she is. Uh, we show a video every year. Oh, there they are. Who's the funniest of your crew? Oh, man, what do you think? I mean, well, you're the favorite. You <laughs> um, I don't know. Our father sort of, I feel like it all stems from our father, but... Um, he probably, his batting average might not be as high as our mother's. Yeah. Oh. She doesn't say as much, but I feel like her hit rate is better. Oh. See, that's so good, well, because I was going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you did it. That's why, you're that's why he's the favorite. All right, don't go anywhere, guys. Uh, Seth and Josh are going to put us to the test. They got a game. It's called Fact or Fake, coming up right after this. <laughs> You've already told us all your stories. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> We are back. Uh, we've got Seth and his brother, Josh, and we just wanted to shout out your mom and dad are here. Before we get to the game, your mom and dad are right here. They're yeah, in studio. They and watch it. Josh's fiance and her mother. They're right yeah. over there. They're they right wanna, over. They said no. <laughs> oh, they, no. Wait, the, no, because the brother said that. Oh, there they are. Well, we're happy that y'all are here. They were my tweet ask who the favorite son is, uh, but they're not. No, they're and not it's Mike. pretty clear. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. So we wanted to learn a little bit more about you. We're going to play a game called Fact, Fact or Fake Brothers Edition. Here's how it works. Okay. One brother is going to tell us a story about the other brother. And we'll have to decide if it's real or if it's made up. All okay. Right. Seth? Seth? All right. Here we go. Story one. In high school... <laughs> <laughs> In high school, Josh insisted on getting a perm treatment oh. called the Vavoom, which he believes is the secret of his good hair to this very day. I think he did get a perm. You are correct. He got a perm? Yes, you no, did. No, I did not get a perm. I got a Vavoom. <laughs> what is it the is difference, difference between a Vavoom? It said all the bounce, all the body without a perm. I would believe it was it Vidal Sassoon. At a salon? Wait, did you yeah, have, I did you it at the, ha the hair cutters in Merrimack, New Hampshire. Wait, did you have to put in the pink little curlers? I don't recall. Okay. Yeah. It was a long process. Okay. It was a long you're, process. By the way, you're, previous... by the way, your hair it is luxurious. Yeah. 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 But do you hear that meanness in his tone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, Josh, you're next. Um, Seth likes chicken wings so much that once in a bar, he was caught gnawing on some half-eaten chicken wings <laughs> that didn't belong to anyone we knew and might have been there from the night before. True. That's yeah. true. Must be. I know it. You know we We that. know it. It is yeah, true. That's true. <laughs> Any more detail about uh, that? Were I think you... you've heard it all. <laughs> how old were you how old were you when that happened? Late twenties. <laughs> yeah. Late twenties. And we were playing pinball and yeah. someone was like, Whose chicken wings are those? And he's like, I don't know. Yeah. And then we sort of asked around and it was nobody. Oh yeah. my god. Nobody that all we right. know here. Exactly. I don't know whose wings they were, but they were my bones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wow. Sure. Um, yeah. Seth? Yes. Josh got Josh got fired from a restaurant because he called in sick and then showed up on TV at a basketball game. I don't think that's true. I do. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He looked to the left a little. You yeah. did? Oh, yeah. Down yeah. Left. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so true. how old were you when that happened? You're I was in high school. I was a junior in high school, and my uh, our high school basketball team was in the state championship. And I how really did, wanted to go. How did you get fired? Did they? Did they I went into work the next day, and oh, they were they? like, "You weren't sick. You were. Uh, we saw you on TV because the game. It was like one of those high school games that was televised because it was yes, the New Hampshire a big finals. deal. Yeah. yeah, that was it. And I was like, okay. And they <laughs> said, all right, so you're fired. And I was like, okay. <laughs> all right. I wasn't married to being a busboy. <laughs> Uh, Shorty's Mexican Roadhouse, so I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Right. I bounced back. He's bounced back. <laughs> You're, yeah. all right. You're doing a nice job mentioning a lot of local businesses. I know. Yeah. 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 I, I want to get the free burrito yeah. next time I go back. Josh, your turn. You wait for the music. Yeah. Uh, we used to get these children's books that came with accompanying 35 records. Seth got The Hobbit, but he was too afraid of it, so I had to trade with him. 
wow, with man. a country, 35 a company like a, record? Like a small record. True. Yeah, yeah. I remember those records. Yeah. You were scared What of was Hobbit? so scary of The Hobbit? There's the, uh, the wizards? Uh, you know, Gollum is pretty scary. Mm-hmm. Also, um, it's uh, uh, the, the animation was pretty scary. Mm-hmm. And I don't feel like I need to explain myself to you anymore. <laughs> What I traded, do, what I had to trade him with was Lambert the sheepish lion, <laughs> That's which, was, which was yeah. appropriate oh, totally for, for where he was at. Yeah. Right. What he could handle. This was, by the way, the day before the chicken wing story. I was late 20s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, guys. You can find Thank Seth you, and guys. Josh's podcast, Family Trips with the Myers Brothers, wherever you get your podcast. New episodes drop every Tuesday. Guys, thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you guys. So Happy fun. Thanksgiving. And as Thank always, you. remember to watch Late Night with Seth Meyers, weeknights on NBC, and the next day's streaming on Peacock and the whole Myers family is going to be there tomorrow for their annual Thanksgiving episode. Look forward to that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Who knows what's going to happen?